Hello and welcome to another Sudoku Primer video. This is puzzle number 60. It's a medium puzzle from Sudoku to Go Volume 102 by Soap Opera Digest. And uh, I'm going to... I've, I've done a couple of videos where I did a, a pop quiz. I'm going to do a kind of a pseudo quiz this time. I'm going to fill in numbers. I'm not going to explain why I put certain numbers in a in places and then after after I um, put the number in then I will uh, explain why I put it there where I put it um, some of them will probably be pretty obvious probably won't even need to explain them others might be a little more subtle uh, and I'm going to even though this is a medium puzzle I'm going to um, possibly use some more advanced techniques to find to find numbers but I'll explain them as I go so so let's just get started I'll I'll start plugging away uh, the first couple should be pretty easy like this three right here I got a three here and a three here and a three here so that's the only place a three can go okay That should be pretty straightforward. You can see there's an 8 and an 8 here and here. And so that one goes there. You could also view this as a loner cell because it's the only cell that's not populated outside of this column. And we've already got a 3 and a 9 in there. So this 8 fits there. Same thing with that 8. We had a an 8 here. This is a loner cell also. We have a 5, 3, and 8. There's already a 5 and 3 there, so the 8 goes there. That one should be pretty easy. Got 8's there already and an 8 here. Okay, I just put in those two eights. There's an eight here and an eight here and an eight here, so that one fits there. And then this is got an eight here and an eight here, eight here and an eight here. So pretty straightforward on those. Probably noticed the there were two, four, and seven missing here, and uh, there's a seven here and a seven here. So the seven can only go there. Once we put the seven in, we see a four here, so the two can only go there, and then we fill in the last number, which is a four. Again, pretty straightforward. The only place a four can go. Okay. 
Okay, now I placed that one there. You can see there's a one here and a one here. So I put the one there. But the way I first saw it was I saw there were three cells empty in this row right here, and they were one, six, and nine. And we already had a one here, so that's the only place that the one could fit in that row because it can't fit here and here. So we know these are six, nine twins, and there's a nine. I'll just put this 9 in right here. Okay, did you see how I got that 6? And we've got a 6 here, so a 6 can't go there. And we've got a 6 here already. Um, you can also view this as ghost 6s right here. So you got a six here, so one of these has to be a six. So we have six, 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 and that six goes there. We had two five twins. They're the only two numbers that were missing in this place, and there's a five there. Let's just fill this one in here. That should be obvious. Again, we only had two and six missing in this square. There's a two here, so two and six. We got a five there. The way I found that, I just filled in that four, the last number in the in that square. The way I found this five was, you know, you could see there's fives here, so that had to be a five. But the way I found it was, there's one four and five missing in this column, and there's a five here and a five here already. So we can see these are one four twins. So I put the 5 in. That seven goes here because we had a we had one, two, two, seven, and nine missing here. There's already a seven there and already a seven there, so that was the only place that could go. And so I'll finish this one with the two seven nines. There's a 2 here, so a 9 goes there. And then it filled in the 2, and then I put this 7 in. 
So I can see that's the only place that the seven could go here. Okay, there are only two numbers left in this column. There's a six here. So and there were one and six. It's because there's a six there that had to be a one. those by there's one and one here so one of these was a one and there's a nine and a nine so I knew these were one nine twins and there was a nine there already so I got those okay, there are only two and five left there and there's a five there that six because there's a six here and a six here so these are ghost sixes right here and so therefore we have ghost sixes six so one of these had to be a six and there's a six there seven was the only number missing out of this column but it was also a this this cell is also a loner loner cell and there's a five and nine already in there and three eight and six and so that seven had to be the the number that fit there if you look at it that way Okay, that one there, you had ones here, so one of these could be a one. But I looked along here and saw there's one, two, four, and seven missing in this in this row. And there's a two, four, and seven there, so I knew that would that was a one. And now I can fill these in because we knew those were one, four twins. That one's straightforward because you got a one and a one there and a one and a one there. There were two and seven missing there. There was a two there, so I knew that. I knew that was a seven. A seven and a seven and a seven, so we knew that was a seven. There were only two empty cells here, and they were four and nine, and there was a nine there. Okay, 
Okay, there was two and six missing in this row, and there's a two there. Four and five were the only two numbers missing in this square, and there was a five there. And uh, the only thing left is four, five, and six here, and these should be pretty obvious. Four and six is a five. Five and four is a six. And five and six, is, there's a four there. So. <coughs> okay, well, I hope that helped a little bit. I uh, thought I, if I fill in numbers and then explain, that will give you a chance to kind of see what I was doing and try and figure out what I was doing. Um, so I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.